oh boy, we're going to have fun today. How's it going guys? Corey the random guy with you today. We are going to take every single one of these radios out to the 5.5 mile mark and we are going to see if any of these will make it. This is going to be a very interesting test. We have right here the TD777. We have the Bell South. This is an old school radio. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. I'll do a full blown review on this in one of the videos. 14 channel FRS radio. You guys have never seen it before. This right here is a Cobra 22 channel FRS radio. We have the, of course, the flagship of every single handheld I have. It is the TD UV5R Pro. We have my very first TID radio product, which still is running strong, is the regular UV5R. This is the Beta H8. I'm hoping that we I can get another one that's been revamped. That's what they're talking about. But anyway, this is the H8. This is the Beta version. Now, all of these are going to be tested on Channel 5 FRS. I know what some of you are going to say. Oh, well, these can't be transmitted on FRS. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is for testing purposes only. So don't jump my rear about this. We're gonna test every single one of these. I do not have a V2 with me. Uh, those went to my boys. We're gonna stick with these. I'll probably go ahead and take a clip out of another video for the V2 test so that you guys can see all the comparison. What's the point of this video, you ask? Well, this is to basically prove that you can take almost any radio and as long as you have a base setup you can reach about 5.5 miles now let's be fair and make things clear it's all going to depend on your terrain it's all going to depend on the conditions it's all going to depend on the power of the radio this one here i do not know its power output so we do not know if this is actually going to work and to be honest this radio here is supposed to have a solid antenna well these were brand new in a box that somebody had bought a very long time ago but never pulled them out never used them and over time this little rubber piece degraded and broke and i tried epoxying it that didn't work we're gonna test this just the way it is and we're gonna see what this thing does like i said i can't find any specs on this particular radio so let's go out to the radio testing proving grounds I'm gonna go we're just gonna go straight 5.5 miles away we're not gonna do no 3.5 mile and then to a 5.5 mile we're gonna go straight to the 5.5 mile because this radio this radio this radio and of course this one will do the 5.5 miles no issues whatsoever those two i am not 100 percent sure so we're gonna go do the 5.5 mile right away and we're gonna just test them all we're gonna see what all of them do so let's get out there to the proving grounds and see what we can do all right guys we are out here on the proving grounds we are just gonna go straight for it 5.5 miles on all six radios and we're just gonna see how all of them fare let's try the bell south 1010 first and see if it will go All right. You came in only at a one. Okay, you heard the wife. I only came in at a one, but the fact that this thing with a broken antenna <laughs> went 5.5 miles away, holy crap. All right, let's get to the next one. Let's do the uh, Cobra. All right, test of the Cobra, 1.5 watt blister pack radio, 5.5 miles away. So five point. I only came in as clear as day. Okay, you heard it. Came in as clear as day. Awesome. Uh, let's do the 777. Five, six. I had to switch to a different channel because five was starting to have people on it, so. All right, this is a test of the TD777, 5.5 miles away. That one came in at a seven. Awesome. I'm still very impressed by that bell sound. All right, let's do the H8. This is a test of the TID radio h 5.5 miles away. Perfect time. And of course, this one would do it. So let's do the original UV5R. This is the test of the original UV5R. Going to the base station 5.5 miles away. Perfect time. Look at that. All right. Okay, last but not least, the flagship of the radios. 
that I have, that I consider as the flagship, the UV5R Pro. All right, UV5R Pro, 5.5 miles away. Now copy. Perfect sign. Excellent. All right, guys, 5.5 miles away, six radios. Three, four of which are from TID Radio. Two are different. One is a Bell South 1010. I'm not sure what its wattage is. And then of course a Cobra from Walmart. All right, let's go ahead back to the house and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on all six. All right guys, final thoughts on this crazy five and a half mile range test on all of these different radios. I knew this one, this one, this one, and these two would make it the 5.5 miles. All of these I have tested at that range. This one just recently, and this one just recently. But to my surprise, this Bell South 1010 actually made it five and a half miles. It didn't give very good signal, but it made it. Very, very shocking. I still don't have any specs of this radio. I don't know what it puts out for wattage or anything like that. This is just your uh, 14 channel, not programmable in any way, shape, or form, not even uh, PL tones or any of that other stuff. All of these would be great for an SHTF situation, especially this one with the scrambler. This one, no, it wouldn't be good for an SHTF situation. Would it be good enough for kids to play around with sure why not hand it to them 14 channels they can't screw it up that's my final thoughts i i hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video because this was pretty insane as i said before i knew those three would make it i knew this one would make it from a pre previous video this one as well from a previous video this one was the main one that i really wanted to see how far it'll go but i figured i'd throw all these radios in as a test to give you guys a really really nice wide range of different radios that would go five and a half miles from where i was at to a base so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time we will catch you on the next one see ya